Hello, everybody. Um, I'm pleased uh, to be here today. Uh, thank you so much for having me. Uh, my name is Nuria Rivas, and I come from Barcelona. I'm a volunteer mainly editing in uh, articles related to culture and art uh, at the Catalan Wikipedia with minor contributions to other languages. Uh, currently, I'm a board member of Amical Wikimedia at the Catalan Wikipedia. And as I work, I work as, a, as an adjunct lecturer at the Arts Department uh, at Universidad de Barcelona. Um, and I come here today to share some thoughts about my experience using Wikipedia as a learning tool, at, uh, as a class exercise. I want to start with a warning because uh, I come bringing more questions than answers. And uh, this is not an academic research still, uh, but some personal views and other editors uh, when trying to make uh, the most of Wikipedia as a learning tool in, this, uh, in educational environments. Thus, uh, it would be an immense pleasure if, you know, we can uh, share some thoughts at the end. So don't, don't be shy. Um, I carried out a Wikipedia-related uh, project as a class exercise twice in an elective uh, class with uh, 30 to 40 students. I stopped due to to the pandemics um, because not all of them had a fair access to computers. Um, and this year, the course almost doubled in size. So um, I thought I needed to rethink the project for bigger groups. This assignment is usually 30% uh, of uh, the final grade. So they know um, they know this is a serious uh, exercise, or they need to take it seriously. And uh, furthermore, the vast majority are female with a high re ratio of uh, queer, non-binary, and trans students. This is uh, very important to me since, uh, since these are misrepresented communities of editors and biased contents in pretty much every version of Wikipedia. That is why I like to work in length with them on the subject. Uh, let them know they, not, they are not only able to, to edit, but also uh, they can make an impact. They are mostly happy when, uh, when working throughout the project, but uh, when, the grade men, uh, when the graded assignment is over, um, so are their lives as Wikipedia editors. Uh, the low index of engagement after six months it is steadily low. Uh, hence, I started to ask themselves the whereabouts. The, um, wait. the lack of time is uh, one of the recurrent reasons, but some anxieties uh, that, but so are some anxieties that could be uh, worked out, such as. Uh, low knowledge about Wikipedia. I would say that this is um, their perception, you know, they have the perception of uh, not having enough knowledge. Um, they, don't, they don't actually have that many difficulties when editing. They have, um, or yeah, there are always um, a huge percent of, of uh, students with a uh, fear of other editors, you know, the community. And uh, it's uh, both ways, you know, they don't want to harm the editors, you know, like uh, touch previous versions. So that's why they, uh, the vast majority of students choose uh, new articles and not to improve existing ones. And uh, they also fear to be harmed, you know. Um, interaction with other uh, unknown editors. So they are always asking me, you know, to protect them. And I don't know, the Catalan community, it's, we are not that amount of people and, and 
most of the times when dealing with the new editors, they they are not that aggressive or, or not aggressive. So that's, that's something to, to think about also. Um, there's, there's always a decent percentage of students uh, sabotaging copyright laws, uh, scanning images, books, and so on. And uh, this happens to me every time. And they, are, they really seem uh, to struggle understanding why it can be done. So that is also a plus. I mean, um, I devote uh, quite a lot of work trying to undo, you know, this uh, mainly uh, commons edition. In a couple of occasions, I had brilliant students, students uh, who did not like even a bit the assignment. Um, they are not usually shy in oral presentations, uh, but they had issues working with a wiki environment. Thus, my, my guess is that they had uh, suspicions over sharing their knowledge out in the open. Uh, that's uh, about uh, students' discomfort or difficulties that uh, they shared to me. And I think uh, every of those items links to frustration. So low engagement after the project is finished. Alternatives, and that's uh, something that uh, I've been working it out. Um, one of the possibilities, more guidance during the project. I believe they have enough, but it may not be their perception or uh, there might be more effective channels. So I'm still thinking on different options here. Um, teamwork. They have the option of working both solo or uh, adopt a bigger article and work with groups of two or three people. So uh, they feel, you know, uh, not alone. Um, now I'm working with uh, or trying to incorporate uh, Wikipedia or the wiki world in the curriculum. So I'm trying to collaborate with other lecturers to introduce, uh, to introduce Wikipedia in uh, small groups already to freshmen. If they are involved every year in a wiki related uh, project, they might see them as part of the movement. I don't know, that's one of the, uh, the issues now. And um, training on open knowledge. Um, they not always uh, have what they need in the library. At least when it comes to my courses, I call them nomads because uh, they are forced to visit several libraries uh, to uh, fulfill each assignment. So repositories as uh, wiki libraries that are completely unknown to them are a plus. Offline groups. Um, I was born as an editor in Piquidonas UPF, an offline group, and I saw the members as a, my support network. So um, I think established groups help individuals not only to learn the basics, but uh, also to weave connections and to establish community nuts. And that is uh, something that uh, you should be taken into account uh, how uh, these on uh, off, offline groups um, make the difference, at, at least when, from my point of view, uh, when in Wikidonas, UPF, uh, when one of us has a problem, a doubt, or even a curiosity, uh, the others will help, or the others will try to help, so you don't feel alone. Uh, Esther, uh, she's, she's the one, uh, she's the mother, and uh, she has created a good scaffold. So uh, we feel helped, we feel in a, in, a, um, in a safe environment. And I think that, that at least from my point of view, that makes the difference, you know, that, that's the reason I stayed, I would say. So uh, 
with those uh, partial solutions, because there's none of them that will actually uh, help um, to fulfill this engagement problem, I, uh, I asked myself some questions, you know, what to do when teaching to uh, bigger groups, over 60 people. I mean, freshmen, it's, it's a whole issue because I have up to 90 people in the same room, so try to deal with that. And how to make sustainable an editing group, because as a lecturer, you're alone. So if you have an offline group, I mean, you need to make it sustainable throughout the years, and that's also a big commitment. The other issue, introducing other projects besides Wikipedia. I'm an art history uh, lecturer, so Wikidata would be a, a, huge, uh, a huge thing to introduce to them. I mean, museums like MoMA, they are working with uh, Wikidata. And last but not least, how to seduce my peers or trick them into make uh, this leap of faith that is uh, involved themselves in the wiki movement. So, um, because it's something that it can work uh, a year, but make it sustainable, that's also an issue. I mean, they need to be believers, but at some point we need to, uh, to help them also. So, um, I would say that if the lecturer is uh, is involved in the project that would make um, easier for the students, you know, to follow and to maintain uh, their, um, their appeal for, for Wikipedia because they are all using Wikipedia in their daily basis, but uh, they rarely ever uh, keep editing. And um, that is something that uh, really bothers me, you know, how, how to deal with that. I don't know. I don't know if uh, uh, you have uh, any thoughts on that or if may, uh, I mean, I'm not asking for a solution, you know, but uh, I don't know. I would say if you have uh, any points of view, any thoughts you might uh, want to share, the floor is yours.